good morning it is a lovely sunny tuesday um got some glasses because it's actually looking quite bright outside so yeah um gonna go in for my lecture and then whatever else i can get done today we will see <laughs> You've got to be the damsel in distress that needs served. Who hath done this to me?
are gonna go for a picnic so um yeah i'm just gonna throw some makeup on i think is the plan as every loud vehicle decides to drive past my window <laughs> gonna make sure i'm wearing sun cream today because it's so sunny it's so beautiful gonna have a lovely fun little picnic um with the girls some of the girls not all of the girls unfortunately I use SPF every day and I swear there will never be a day where the smell of sun cream doesn't just remind me of holiday even though like now it's a daily thing. I have my little toast headband but he's a bit grubby now. I just have so much hair and so much forehead that it just looks a little bit crazy, I can't lie. I'm going to use the um, e.l.f. power grip primer today because I don't want my makeup to budge in the sun. Um, I'm also kind of testing this out in the sun um, because of going to LA soon. Like I want to see if it's actually going to last um, or if I'm going to have to like really cut down on what I'm wearing. But we will see. This is the collection um, filter finish except I'm running out of this and I do have a new one but I'm saving it for going to LA. Like, I refuse to open it until this is like completely gone which it almost is it's kind of gross at this point um but it's fine i don't think i'm gonna wear foundation today just because it's gonna be so warm that i just don't want to feel that much on my skin um so i'm gonna do like a good layer over this i think I'm having to like properly scrape the sides. Does anyone else do this? Like you refuse to get rid of it. Even if it's not even an expensive product. Just gonna tap that all in. And then I'm gonna just use, again, this is another product that's severely running out, but I have got a second one. You can see how empty that is. There's like remnants along the side, but it's the Elf Putty 
um, bronzer. Look at like the two little bits of it. I really like this as well, which is why I've repurchased it. It just sits really nicely. I'm going to use the um, e.l.f. Putty blush as well, um, just underneath my concealer because um, I quite like the way that it looks when it blends in, um, when you put the concealer over the top instead. So I'm just going to tap that into like the high points of my cheeks and then bring it under my eyes as well. And because I'm putting concealer over the top, I can go a little bit heavier with it as well which is quite nice because it kind of tones it down after. And then I'm just going to go over with a concealer. This is the one by 17. It's the Second Skin Enhancing Concealer. It's not like the thickest, like it's quite a thin concealer. Um, so it's definitely not good if you like the really heavy brightened under eye. Um, but it's quite a light concealer it's quite nice it's also really creamy um and it's really cheap i think it's like two pound fifty um which is quite good so i'm testing it out at the moment i don't mind it um again it's quite a light one so it doesn't really do lots um under the eye but it is quite nice just going to set under my eyes with a powder just where that concealer is and then to set the other cream product i'm just going to go in with um a powder bronzer and a powder blusher as well the powder blusher that i'm using as well is the pretty fly by doll beauty it's this absolutely bright pink um this one is let's get wavy I'm just going to run through my brows with a brow mascara which um, is kind of cheating instead of using like a brow gel but I am cheap and if I can just buy the one product that's going to do two jobs I absolutely will. Um, so yeah I just sort of very lightly like put this through sort of the ends of the hairs um, just to add a little bit of colour but usually um, I just sort of tint my brows and that does a good enough job of colouring them because I'm not too fussed about um, shaping them or like making them sit fluffy or anything um, I literally just want them to appear instead of being like bleach blonde white I'm going to curl my lashes and again I'm just going to use a brow mascara on them as well and then I'm just going to go back in with the villa finish and add a bit to like the high points of my cheek um, and then my nose and around here just as like a highlighter and then for my lips I'm going to just go in with a lip liner this is from Peaches and Cream this is Borderline I want it to be quite natural so this one quite closely matches um, my lip colour which is quite nice And then on top of that I'm just going to put um, the Dr. Pawpaw um, like lip balm, this one is the peach pink one. It's just sort of a nice pink um, to go on top. This is the, uh, the new Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray from e.l.f. So I'm just going to set it all with that first. It's such a fine mist that it sometimes feels like it's not actually hitting my skin. So I feel like I have to hold it really close. And then I'm also going to go in with the Studio London uh, UGU setting mist as well. Um, just because it's quite nice and glowy. And then it's all done. So... I just need to um we need to go to the shop pick up some bits for the picnic um some drinks and snacks and things and then um we will be off so i'll bring you guys along with me as well to to picnic The ceremonial pouring of the rosé. 
ceremony. <laughs> yes. Sorry, did I not mention that we're doing a sacrifice today? Oh, I've been informed. The funny, the funny thing is, is that I mentioned the sacrifice on the way up. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing a funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Off they go. Off they go. The gays the are feeling the call of the water. The water calls to the gays. <laughs> Why are you so bright? Yeah. We used to do rock climbing, you'll be fine. Look! Wow! She's the king of the castle! <laughs> 